Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a full case jumbo break of 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball. Bowman Draft Baseball, still hot, folks. Still more in the store at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Website link, or the, I guess the website is right over there. You just have to type that in. At the end of the break, there will be an autograph recap, an auto recap. And I'll kind of, kind of quasi recap after every box, too. So if you want to fast forward through, if you're watching the replay, go for it. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me. TC, Triple Last Spot Mojo, thank you very much there. Unboxing on Boxing Day. Thanks very much, everybody. I'm back from, uh, I think we're all, I mean, entire Jaspi team back from their holidays. We all had a good one. So hopefully everyone enjoyed their holidays as well. All right, there you go, folks. There it is right there. Let's slide these jumbo boxes up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Spot covered up right here so I can set the cards right there. All right. Good. Here we go. Remember, the Jumbo Edition, three autographs per box. Paper base doesn't ship. Everything else does. Good luck, everybody. Yes, Rick Barker, schedule in the chat. It will be next, right after this. But you've got time. You've got time to do... You run a quick errand or two before we get to that one. Now, speaking of schedule, ladies and gentlemen, if you look in the chat, you can see the times right there, LA time, Pacific time. Now, we're going to do this break, then we've got a couple football breaks after this. Now, that will bring, uh, after we do those two breaks, that should bring us to about the, uh, that's all right, Mark, uh, that should bring us to about, you know, the last hour or so of the broadcast. So we have, uh, which is a perfect time for a, for one or the other. One, either the full case break of um, Donruss Optic Football, full case break of Donruss Optic Football, or a full case break of the brand new 2018-19 Panini Contenders Basketball. Now, my preference would be the basketball just because it's a new release. And traditionally, we like to do at least one of the new releases. On new release night, it's appropriate, right? So, jazbeescasebreaks.com. First to fill, first to break. If it's an hour-long break, then uh, that would make it the last break of the night, one or the other. Now, if it doesn't fill by the time we're done with all this, then we would have time for uh, a few shorter breaks, medium-sized breaks. But, so there's a lot of flexibility with what we do. So, Nola, Mark Matson, if you're still here, Nola Carborg suggesting you can learn how to knit a sweater during a break like this. If you're not in the break, learn how to knit, crochet, you know, maybe work on a, uh, maybe work on an, an adult coloring book. Or I guess a coloring book for adults. Not an adult coloring book. That, this is a family show. We, we wouldn't suggest an adult coloring book. But a coloring book for adults, if you're into that sort of thing. Saw a lot of that at the at the Barnes and Nobles. There's Jazz Chisholm out of 150. Isn't, isn't that where Moonlight Graham was from? Chisholm, Minnesota? Maybe. We'll set those aside. We'll sleeve those up and send those out. And our shipping team will take care of that. There's Tanner Dodson. Tanner Dodson for the Rays. That'll be for Mike Koontz. Um, I don't know on both of those things, Rick Barker. Maybe. Playbook, I think, better chance in that immaculate. 
So we'll breeze past this paper. It's Corbin Martin, 250, purple chrome. We'll randomize these. We'll do a left-right randomizer on those at the end of the break. Unless they're a serial number, then we'll do that separately. We'll set that aside over here just to remind me. Right, if you get a coloring book for adults, you there should be a coloring book for adults. NFL edition, you can, and adults can sit there and color a, a chub. Bradley or Nick, that is. It's a family show. Easy, guys. Anyone into, you guys can, you guys, this is a safe zone here, ladies and gentlemen. Coloring book for adults, safe zone. Does anybody actually use the coloring book for adults? I don't, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'm not with you on that. But I won't shame you for it. Tristan McKenzie to 499. People in the chat might. I can't control that. <laughs> And for the Twins, Trevor Larnock, class of 2018 on-card autograph, 31 out of 250. Michael Tran with the Twins. Oh, Rister is back. We we started without you, Rister. We were waiting. We couldn't wait any longer. We we're like, we got to start this Bowman draft break. Pick your team number eight. There's Matt Livator to 402. Rays with that one. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. Let's breeze past this paper. Try to pick up the pace just a tiny bit. I know we're trying to squeeze in some more breaks later tonight from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Bobby Bradley out of 250, purple paper. And there's Owen White, purple chrome, one out of 250 for the Rangers. That goes to Mike Koontz and the Rangers. Rister, it's 9 o'clock. Well, no, it's not 9 o'clock right now. It's 7.13 right now. That's the real time. That's Jaspi time. No, we're two hours behind you. All right, so that's your third autograph. Maybe some parallels. I don't see any. Uh, there's one right there. Those are not numbered, though. That'll still go to the Reds. We have not seen a train whistle autograph out of fives and under. We have not seen a train whistle autograph. Actually, we'll leave these right here for the for the uh, auto recap at the end. Next box. Good luck. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Next one. So, you guys, as most of you know, everyone likes Las Vegas, right? I feel like if you, if you like this sort of thing, the thrill of the chase, I'm assuming you like the thrill of the chase. It may be dice games, card games, table games, slot machines, etc., etc. I figure there's some decent crossover in that. Not all of you, you don't have to, but there's a decent, if the, there's a Venn diagram, the circles will overlap pretty, pretty healthily. So I was in Vegas over the weekend with my, uh, 
with my sister, my kid sister who works for the win in Las Vegas. Some desk job, I don't know what she does. Um, something to do with making sure that your coffee gets to your room properly, I suppose. I don't know, she coordinates people. Um, so I was there and I was scouting out locations for Jaspi Fest, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is an idea we've kind of joked around about, but I feel like in the next, in the next year or two, why, why can't we do a little Jaspi, at least a meetup? Maybe the meetup turns into a Jaspi Fest. Maybe that Jaspi Fest turns into a Jaspi Con convention. Who knows? I feel like Vegas is a good... Everyone want, want to go to Vegas, right? Who wants to go to Vegas? Rister, you want to go to Vegas? Nola? Gilo? Cody, you want to come to Vegas? Come to Vegas, Cody. Kind of scouting out locations. It's Carter Kaiboom, purple paper to 250 for TC and the... Nats. Gilo loves Vegas. You'd, you'd go to a Jaspi Fest. There you go. Ryan Rollison, 244 at 250. Purple Chrome for the Purple Rockies. Jeff Goldberg with that one. There you go, Jeff. EA says, I'll go there when the Raiders are there. I'm, that's precisely what I'm thinking, EA. That'd be the that'd be a good time for, for the first Jaspi Fest, right? Football season. Maybe the Raiders in town. New stadium. And there's a, there's some nice ho nice like local hotels there, off the strip that are very near the. Oh, I have pictures of the stadium. Maybe I'll post those tomorrow. I drove by the stadium, ladies and gentlemen. There's James uh, James and Hannah at a two fifty. Um, <laughs> Hooters Casino is actually. I, I've thrown dice for many hours at, at the Hooters Casino. It's pretty nice. Pretty fun. Uh, no, the Orleans. It's pretty nice. And um, and I didn't realize how close the Palms was to the stadium and the Orleans. So those, those are some... Uh, those are some good spots. I scouted out... I mean... My sister lives down the street from the Orleans, so I'm I'm there most often when I visit her and hang out. But uh, this year, my cousin came uh, for the Christmas trip as well. My cousin Dave stayed at the Palms, and we we didn't throw a dice there. We played we played this weird video baccarat thing. I don't know how to play baccarat, but this weird video thing. We played blackjack for a while, and um, near the bar with a shark there. For those of you who've been to the Palms. There's that swag, Travis Swaggerty, EA, another one. Pirates, he had one in the best break, now one in draft. There you go. Merry Christmas, Matthew Bodner. He would go to a Jaspi Fest in Vegas. <laughs> a little DJ and, and break for Jaspi Fest, absolutely. But yeah, definitely, definitely won a little bit of dollar dollar bills, ten dollar blackjack. At the Palms. No no worries again, EA. Thanks for getting in. So, Palms is pretty nice. There's, a, there's a, believe it or not, a lot of affordable spots in Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. So, whatever your budget is, I think every, anyone can make Jaspi Fest work with a little bit of planning. There's Adonis Medina to 402 for the Phillies. I have to say that playing blackjack on Christmas Eve, or I think the 24th is when I was playing the most, the evening of the 24th, it's a little odd. I always look and I'm, I, I wonder what everyone's story is. Behind recommended viewing is Logan Gilbert. Nice Logan Gilbert. Blue Wave. 122 to 150. Nice. Mariners with that one. TC. It's one of his last spot mojo teams. There you go, Tim. Um, lots of Asians 
during Christmas. A lot of a lot of uh, Chinese internationals, I think. A lot of the, some of the populations that aren't Christmas celebrators, you know, you see a lot, you know, they love gambling too. So the, there's a there's definitely a big Asian population there during the holidays. More than usual. Um, and then there's a lot, a lot of just random people. I just, I just want, I guess there's a lot of locals, I suppose. Saw a lot of couples. You know what I mean? A little couples trip to, to, to Vegas for Christmas. So there's that. Orleans is more of a local joint, so there are a lot of locals there. That's a lot of fun. They got a good sports book there, too. Palm's sports book's a little small. And there's Jeremiah Jackson out of 402. Nice three autograph. Next box. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting to try to think what all the what everyone's story is on a, on a Christmas. It's a non traditional Christmas, right? Las Vegas. Attempted to hit on some cocktail waitresses. I don't know what the etiquette for that is. It's probably just no, just don't do it, right? I think there's, it usually doesn't work. But Jaspi Fest, I think we can do it. Oh yeah, Gilo's cousin was stationed in Vegas for a while. Oh nice. Yeah, I think we, we have some people that are from Vegas that shot with us. All right, Nola Cardboard. Kick back and relax. We'll see you. I've not, where, where is Slots of Fun? I was at Fremont Street, too. Saw the old cowboy, neon cowboy. That was pretty good. The Binion signage there. A little... A lot of nice, fun, inexpensive gambling there. But Jaspi Fest, I think Vegas would probably be a good kind of centrally sort of location for everybody. Oh, it's by Circus Circus. Circus Circus has a great like little mini amusement park in the middle of there that I like. Um, These around here, maybe palms. I don't know. I, we'd have to find like a an inexpensive sort of meetup room at least. I don't know. We have to. We'll have to get a head count at some point over the next year. Get a head count. See how many how many people would go. Try to find a a weekend that would work for every or not for everybody. That's not that's never going to happen. But we'll. We'll try to do it around the football season, I guess. You know, in colder weather climbs. There's Tim Kate. TC for TC and the Nationals. Last spot mojo. Yeah, I think EA makes a, makes a good point. I think uh, when the Raiders move there, you know, maybe do a little mini Jaspi Fest there. It's in the south end. It's near, it's uh, across the freeway from Mandalay Bay, so it's on the south end of the strip. We do something there. Let me find a little convention center, or a or a or a banquet room, hall, banquet room, maybe a room for now. A meeting room maybe. Uh, Irizarry at a ninety nine green chrome going to the Rangers. I think we can do we can do some group breaks there. We can, we can drive out some some cases of product, and we can you guys can buy in and like you know we can live group break stuff so. You can yell at me when, like for reals, you can yell directly at me, not just at your computers. You can yell at me when you don't hit. And then cheer with me when you do hit. See, it'll be interactive. We'll have some guest speakers in this convention. <laughs> Who should our guest speaker be? Yeah. 
There's two in a row. Sometimes one of these are numbered. <laughs> right. I know you guys do. Well, I don't know about the physical violence, Sheila. I mean, it's not. Let's not go that far. I'll let you yell at me. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Sitting here in Vegas, can't win at the tables, can't win at the case breaks. Pull me a GD hit. Any guesses on that redemption? Oh, should we get Pete Rose? He's just up the street at Caesars, right, Matthew Bodner? March Madness is a good time, too. Yeah, a little Pete Rose Q&A, signing session. Do that. We'll find a little, little banquet hall, have some case breaks, hang out. There's Alec Baum, purple chrome. You know, try to find some, uh, maybe wager on some, some games here and there. Be a lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. We got Brian Miller for the fish. Buck Wild saying, "What Rose doesn't gamble? He doesn't need to gamble. He just needs to talk to talk to our crew." Maybe a Golden Knight. Oh man, we'd have to try to figure out. Hmm. This might require, we may need to hire a planner, EA. I don't know if we're at that level yet. We should just start with kind of a casual sort of friends trip. Let's all just get together, you know, and, and maybe rent out a meeting room and hang out. <laughs> you guys can bring your stuff, trade or sell with each other too. There'll be like a mini trading session with all the hits that you've gotten from Jaspies. There's Jeremy Ironman to 99, or 95 that is, green chrome for Michael Tran and the A's. I, don't got, I ain't no one got time for planning that, Cody West. I, here's what I was thinking. I'll say it out loud. What I was thinking was maybe if we had enough people, there could be like some sort of um, some sort of group package that we can create at a hotel and at a Golden Knights game and a Raiders game, right? If there happens to be one in the same weekend. Because the Raiders stadium is right here. Let's say it's right here. And that's the 15 freeway. And there's the strip. So the Raider Stadium across the freeway is Mandalay Bay, and right at Mandalay Bay is T-Mobile Arena, where there's the Golden Knights hockey games. I didn't have a chance to go. Kings were playing, and they won in overtime, too, on Sunday. But All right, so this is just paper. Let's breeze through this. Ryan Jeffers, 402. But I'm thinking if we had enough people like to commit, we could probably try to work out some sort of group rate, right? Could be some sort of group rate for those sporting events. All right, so congratulations, someone. You're due to receive a Chrome Draft Pick Autograph Purple Refractor Parallel of A, I think I know who this is, An Anthony, Anthony Ziegler, who doesn't sign his cards, that goes to the Yankees, though. Still nice, Eric Bailey. <laughs> who, who are we going to trade Nick for? Are you, are you saying trade Nick Jaspie? Nick Jaspie is like the is the is the engine room of this uh, of this operation. This doesn't work without Nick Jaspi. It's like the uh, he's like uh, the offensive line, the defensive line. Ooh, box topper. <laughs> Trade Nick Jaspi for a new breaker? I don't know. If that breaker was maybe the the cocktail waitress I saw at the Palms, then maybe yes. I feel like she was. I, I felt like she was far too, too, uh, too young and attractive to be working that kind of shift. I don't know. Maybe she was a local a college kid or something like that. I felt like she 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 would know her way around sports. Person would have to know sports, guy or girl, got to know sports.
should probably maybe get some, uh, maybe get UNLV basketball players to come out, and if it's a good basketball class, get some athletes out there. Yeah, oh, we, we, I don't know if we want a break from Pete Rose's store. Jaspie Fest at Pete Rose's shop? Could do that, I guess. I don't know. We'd have to figure it out. We'll have to figure it out. As this is not going to happen for another year or so, I think. It's going to take a little more planning. But I would imagine over the next year or so, we'll have a... You know, our audience will continue to grow. We'll have some people to maybe do a Jaspi Fest. Maybe wrap in a, uh, a Raider game around there, a Vegas Golden Knights game. A trade night would be good. Quick little weekend trip. You know, a couple nights, a few days. It'd be really fun, I think. If you guys, you, could, you can bring your stuff to trade as well. Got some gold paper coming up. It's Mackenzie Gore, big prospect for the Padres. That'll go to TC and the Friars. Anyhow, something like that. I think that would be fun. Paul Hutchins was suggesting earlier, there's Matt Libertor, another nice one, first rounder for the Rays, Mike Coons. Paul Hutchins was suggesting maybe an East Coast version. See, the East Coast version, Paul, I think would be, would be us going to Chicago for the Nationals. But maybe East East? We, I think the next one's in Atlantic City after that. No, Rory, not, we're not really getting a new break. We're, I mean, we'll be adding breakers. Cody West was suggesting we trade in, in Jaspi Fest in Vegas. Because I just came back from Vegas. So I, was, I was just It was just on my brain that we should have a Jaspi Fest there. Trade night, group breaks. We'll just drive out all of our cases from here. We'll even live stream too. Set up our computer in a little banquet hall. But Cody West is like, could we? Because I was saying we can have a trade night, and Cody West, said, do we trade Nick? I was like, trade Nick. Maybe for the. Maybe if we need money for sports bets. All right, the Simeon Woods Richardson out of 499. That would be an interesting idea, Rory. There's Osiris Johnson. Cody West is is pitching Belfry, 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 Connecticut, Connecticut, Kentucky as a great spot for Jaspie Fest East. Um I feel like Vegas is a little more airport friendly for everybody. Yeah, you know, last time, Bell Free, okay. La last time uh, we were in Atlantic City a couple years ago, Paul Hutchins, or a few years ago now, I think, whenever that was. We had, we had some of our clientele from uh, New York drive down. Stayed for a night or two. Played blackjack with some of the guys last time I was around. Hung out. Wait, I, I know about the Hatfield and McCoys. That, that's like that's like uh, that's like Capulets and Montagues. American version. Is that where that went down though? I guess we could make it a make a little history trip too. Cherokee, North Carolina. Oh, I, I do have a friend in Raleigh, North Carolina. We can do it in North Carolina. I like North Carolina. My grandparents used to live in Fayetteville. And the next auto is. Cody Clemens, refractor auto for the Tigres. That goes to Randy Ramos and the Tigers. Oh, you, that's right. I think I do remember you telling me that, Cody West, that you live near, or you live where the uh, Hatfield and McCoy feud happens. What was the, does, does anyone know what the genesis of that feud was? It was like 
It's like Capulets and Montagues, right? Romeo and Juliet? Oh, and a Civil War battlefield club. I don't want, never been to a Civil War battlefield. One thing I want to do. It's on a, it's on a, on a bucket list. Um, Adam Wolf, 402. Oh, I forgot the box topper, ladies and gentlemen. There's three right here. What's in here? Um, no brewers yet, Rory, in this break. We've got, nice, a Matt Libertor box topper autograph. Nice. And that is number 29 out of 35. That's very cool. All right, so there it is for perspective right there. Nice. That goes to the Rays. That'll be for Mike Koontz. Either way, EA. No, you're. I guess the, the latter is probably the what we should say, right? Um. Cody West and EA's onto something. Gatlinburg, Tennessee, would be the spot, but Cherokee, North Carolina, is nearby and has the casinos. Yeah, casino, kind of an important part. As long as I could play blackjack and throw dice, I would like. That's what I would enjoy. Hey, anyone play baccarat at all? I feel like that's like your grandfather's card game, right? At a casino, like your rich uncle card game, rich old uncle card game. But, but I was, uh, I was. This is again at the Palms. Spent a lot of time at the Palms. There was a video blackjack or video black a video baccarat thing going on but with a live dealer which was kind of uh, which is kind of interesting so it's a live dealer so let's say it's a live dealer like me dealing out the cards right but everyone sits at their own like out there everyone sits at their own uh, video screen station to, to like with a touch screen to put in the bets and see the cards flip out. But there are like webcams that are on the on the hands themselves so you can see it live on the big screen in the back as well. Packed. Thing was packed. But I don't I don't know how to play it. But I guess my cousin was saying, my cousin Dave was just like, you don't have to know anything. He's like, I don't know anything. You just you just bet on the player side or the or the banker side. Maybe a tie every once in a while, and then see what happens. It's like there's li like there's literally no like decision making. <laughs> it's not like blackjack. We have to decide: do I split? Do I stand? Do I this double this or that? So, oh okay, Rory. That's true. Milwaukee town, big airport, big casino. I'm okay with that. I'm into that. I can make that work. Or, or we can just go to EA's house in Tennessee. Eric, can we just go to your house? All right, next box. About halfway through this full case break, making some decent time here. I think we're on schedule. We're on track. That's what Phil Ivy got caught cheating. Caught cheating playing. How do you? I don't. How is he cheating? And I just I don't know enough about it. About Baccarat, how to cheat on that. Whoa. Wow, that's a dual autograph. Dual on-card auto, Ryan Jeffers. Two catchers. Ryan Jeffers for the Twins, 42 out of 50. And Josh Burrow for the Yankees. Catching prospect for the Yankees. Eric Bailey has the Yankees. And Michael Tran has the Twins. 
one happy person, one sad person. Good luck, you two. We'll do this at the end. A miscut down. I, I, I just don't understand the terminology. <laughs> like, was he asked to cut the deck and somehow he... Big lawsuit. Couple million? This casino suit for? Jeez. Does Phil Ivy really need? I I guess he he needs that thrill, the thrill of cheating to see if he can get away with it. Is it? Oh, like marked cards. He could tell the cards based upon the deck. So, did he rig the deck somehow, or was it the casino's fault? That's an, I need to look up this story. I, I, I don't think I've ever heard this. All right, there's Justin Jarvis, 250, purple paper. And there's Josiah Gray for the Reds. Jeff with the Reds. I think he's looking for a Jonathan India. But a Josiah Gray's all right. I've heard of that guy. I think he went to the Dodgers. Matt, Matt Bodner saying, I see so many people lose their fortunes playing Baccarat. Betting the pandas and the dragons and the 20 to 1 and 40 to 1 spots. Yeah, it looks dangerous. I, I was watching some people play at Baccarat at tables. And there are some people who had like stacks of black chips just on like single hands. There's Travis Swaggerty at 150, blue chrome. That's, that's just crazy. I don't know. There are a lot of crazy games. I try to stay away from all the crazy games in Vegas. Dylan Ceased, 402, White Sox. Eight at the Wynn Buffet, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious buffet if you have a chance to go there. EA is going to the Titans game, nice. Is this the is this the decider for the Titans? Titans Colts, right? Is it the decider for both of them? All right, and our third auto. So our first auto was the duel over here. Second auto was the Josiah Gray. The third auto of the box is Josh Burrow. What up, bro? For Eric Bailey and the Yankees. So you got one by yourself. You still have a shot at the duel. And let's see if we can find some parallelograms here. There's Adrian Morajon, 402 for the Friars. And we've got three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We are making some pretty decent time here. I think I'm on schedule. Let me, it's probably a good time to drop the schedule in the chat there. There you go. If, you, if you're watching live, take a look in the chat. And you'll see what's coming up. Got a couple more breaks after this. And, uh, and time to do more, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to squeeze in another hefty hour long break, get your get your spots going. Get into it. Sooner the better. Then we can get it all in. So
So obviously we're doing the baseball now. The eight box Bowman draft. Pick your team number eight. Jumbo edition. There's more in the store. So I know Rory was saying earlier he was a little sad that went hitless. And a couple of draft breaks. We do have some more. So you can sit a couple out and then maybe try again, see what happens. Now we are, we are a little, if you look at the schedule, we are a little backed up, right? So we've got this Bowman draft break, which should be over in about 20 minutes or so. Then we'll be ready to do a half case break of optic football, the second half of that case. We'll just fly through that. That's a pretty quick break. And then we'll be ready to do playbook football, which has already sold out and filled up. Then that should bring us to about the last hour or so of the broadcast, which is Plenty of time to do at, to do either a case of Donruss Optic Football, which is pretty close, or the brand new 2018-19 Contenders Basketball. One or the other in the last hour of the broadcast. If we don't do either, then we've got stuff like Elite Extra Edition. We've got other shorter breaks that we can definitely do. Some orange paper coming up. Some orange papel. 13 out of 25, Thomas Ponticelli the tribe. Am I breaking till 5 a.m. tonight? I don't know if that's going to happen. A lot of traveling today. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little on the... Actually, I'm not that tired, but I definitely need to get my sleep pattern kind of back on track so I can get used to working this late. Again, uh, my body's in, in this mode of why are you not drinking and playing blackjack right now? Why are you not in like a, a smoky sports book sweating out the Raiders game? Actually, I didn't have to sweat out that team. I had to sweat out the under. Just had to sweat out the under. There's Jazz Chisholm Gold Chrome to 50. I just have to reset my body clock. I feel like, uh, I guess this is, at least from what I've, I've read on the internet, which everything on the internet is true, um, like med students or like uh, who are doing their residencies, right, hospital, where they say they don't actually get an, a block of eight hours of sleep. You know, they just, they just kind of sleep three hours here and they work for four or five hours. Three hours here, three hours, a couple hours there. They just squeeze and sleep whenever they want to. That's kind of how what I was doing yesterday. And so feeling a little off. But getting back into the groove, ladies and gentlemen. Back into the case breaking groove. So break with us all week. Jaskyscasebreaks.com. 52 out of 150, Jeremiah Jackson. It's our second of three autographs out of this box. No train whistle yet. I did make some sports bets in Vegas EA. I played the Raiders game, had the Raiders plus three, and I parlayed the Raiders' money line with the under. Success. There's Drew Ellis out of 250. Purple chrome for Michael Tran and the Snakes. And then I bet the I bet basketball games. I think I, I got Bucks minus 10. Won that. I was going to take the other side. And then I heard the voices of Rory Wagner and John Ogre being like, what, you bet against the Bucks again? They're one of the hottest teams in basketball. So with those words echoing in my head from previous night's chats, I finally went with the Bucks, laying a lot of points, and they destroyed the Knicks. <laughs> um, who else did I take? I had the Sixers, but that went to overtime. I had no chance there. I, there was another game that's, that was mixed in there. Won the uh, the Lakers game. I had the Lakers money line plus three forty, and they destroyed the Warriors in Northern California without LeBron for a quarter and a half. So that was kind of amazing. So got a lot there at plus three hundred. Then lost the Trailblazers game, but got the under on that one. I ended up profiting sports bets over the weekend, and I think a little bit. On the on the crafts or no, I lost money on crafts, but I think I made it back in a little bit more. 
playing blackjack. I'm up. Up on the weekend. Which is good. Doesn't That doesn't happen like that all the time. I don't think they have World... I think some offshore books have World Series odds out. And there's Ryan Jeffers. Wait, so both guys got an, an individual autograph of each of these. So I don't feel bad anymore. Not one person happy, one person sad. It's just... A cherry on top for one person now because they both have some hits there. All right, there you go. Nice Ryan Jeffers. The Osiris goes to Clint, by the way. That Marlins hit goes to Clint. Angels is for Karen. And uh, the Astros autograph goes to Jeff. Sorry, busy, busy jibber-jabbering. Um, there were some gold refractors. Were there any gold refractor autographs? Or there was one, I mean, besides this one? No. There were some gold refractors just by non-autos by itself. Andrew, what's going on? Christmas was great. We were just talking, this is what we've been talking about throughout the break. My annual visit my sister in Vegas trip, which was both relaxing and profitable. Ryan Vallad. I'm good to spend time with my sister and my cousin. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Two boxes to go, a couple randomizers, and then we will have another another break coming up. We've got a couple backed up. I did not play any slots, uh, but I was tempted to play the Buffalo slot machine just to hear it say Buffalo. Buffalo. There's a fancy James Bond 007 like slot machine complete with like old school like 1960s James Bond posters which I thought was really cool and they have slot machines for everything nowadays and Lord of the Rings slot machines they had Buffalo they have I don't know all sorts of crazy things Britney Spears slot machines they have my Cousin Vinny slot machines. Should there be a Jaspi slot machine? Huh. But Andrew, I did, uh, did well in the blackjack and that saved my, my losses on the craps table. Yeah, maybe that maybe uh Oh, there you go, Rory. Jaspie's big hit express slot machines. That'll be like a, a one of those big like curved screens that they have those on the fancy new ones now, big train sound effects and everything. Pre-recorded voice going like all aboard. When you hit all aboard. Do, 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 ding 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 ding. ding. Buffalo, Trevor Larnock out of 250. Where's Ricky Buffalo? I don't see him in our breaks yet. We're doing football next, right? Aren't we doing football next? Maybe we'll find some Buffalo. Carlos Cortez. Everyone knows the Buffalo slot machine, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Nick made a reference to this a few nights ago or a few weeks ago. And I... Carlos Cortez at Mets. That'll go to Darren McKenzie, DMAC with that one. And I was like, I feel like I've seen, I, I definitely knew the slot machine. I've seen it before. But I was like, I don't remember that sound effect. He's like, what are you talking? So, so I specifically like listened for that sound effect. And now it's in my head. Buffalo. Would that be another sound effect, William L.? Scared money don't make money. Like, if you like hit max bet and then zeros, they'll be like uh, <laughs> a sarcastic, smart ass voice being like, "Scared money don't make money." You're like, "Shut up!" 
yelling at slot machines now. All right, we got Lency Delgado to four ninety nine for the White Sox. And we've got Jeremy Ironman out of four eighty four refractor autograph for the A's. Michael Tran with the Athletics. Jackpot will be the bell. It's got to be the bell. Got to have a bell there. <laughs> On the wheel, it'd be like, bell, 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 empty wrapper, boo, <laughs> train, 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 fet base, come on, there's Dane Dunning to 402, we got a max bet all the time though, Ironman, um, is from Missouri and is a Missouri State product. There you go. <laughs> train, train, train point. Flawless briefcase, flawless briefcase, flawless briefcase. Paper base. Womp womp. There's Jeremy Ironman again. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're in the hood. Have you seen him play, Jeremy Ironman? Or heard, I mean, what, what do you know of him? Can, can we give Michael Tran, who got the A's, a little extra scouting report if you have it? And we've got Ryder Green. That goes to the Yankees. Eric Bailey with that one. All right, so those are your three autos from the box. Last box and a couple randomizers coming up. We're making excellent time here, ladies and gentlemen. Once I clear this break away... I'm going to go through some orders and get the next break started. Let me drop the schedule in the chat once again if you're just joining us. There you go. We still have, I still see orders coming in. We still have a little bit of time to do uh, another sort of hour long break if you want to. That would be contenders basketball, brand new contenders basketball. Or Donner's Optic football, which is also close. And you're saying, haven't been to a, one of those college games in a bit, but they do have a solid program. All right, so there you go. We want all these guys. This is hashtag good for the hobby. We want all these guys to make it to the majors and become at least starters, if not all-stars. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for hanging with us in the last hour. We're, you know, a lot of... Random chit chat, which is still a lot of fun. Some nice hits pull, being pulled here as well at the same time. So thanks for watching and thanks for, even if you're not in this break, thanks for chilling with us too. All right, so Mark Matheson saying contenders is down to five. We have we have a chance to fill up. Uh, we'll have time for one of those breaks, optic football or contenders basketball. Unfortunately, we do not have time for both. So first fill, first break, and then the next one will just be rolled over till the next day. Which will be fine. We're here all week, so. We're here all the way through Saturday, so. Cody was like, you know how there's like hot boxes? Imagine if there was like a hot draft. Or like everybody turned out to be studs. Well, then if that was the case, then you'd be very glad that you got into a group break and got teams in this for a fraction of the price before all those autographs and the value of these boxes skyrocketed.
Don't sleep on the value of this Bowman draft, ladies and gentlemen. There are people who literally buy cases of this stuff and then just hold on to it. <laughs> you know, and they just keep it in the storage unit or their garage. You know, in the back of their closet for a while until someone just hits it big. I'm sure there's someone who has like a case of like, I don't know, Mike Trout's Bowman draft or whatever just sitting around. So this is one of those products. There's Bo Bichette at a 150 blue paper for the Blue Jays. That'll go to Stacy. All right, next one is Jake Wong for the Giants. That goes to Big Boys 007 and his San Francisco Giants. Hey, Colton Miller had a decent year. Easy, Cody West. Contenders Basketball is also one of those products as well. There's Brady Singer for the Royals. A lot, a lot of people... Uh, a lot of people love the Contenders, not only Contenders Football, Contenders Basketball as well. Retains its value. Bowman's best, or a Bowman draft that is. Bowman's best is solid too, but Bowman draft definitely carries a lot of... Uh, carries a lot of uh, weight in the hobby, just as a respected product and carries value for much longer. What, Pro Football Focus doesn't love Colin? What, is, what do they know? B b bunch, of, bunch of number crunchers there, Cody West. What, what do they know? Bean counters, nerds, computer nerds. What do they know about football? They don't like Colton Miller. Fine. And a 499 Cabrian Hayes. And... We've got Daniel Lynch on card autograph for Adam Adamo with the Royals. 80th ranked tackle, tackle out of 84. What do they know? Uh, you know, East Coast bias, probably. They're probably located based in the East Coast. They don't even scout those UCLA West Coast players anyway. What do they know? There's Cabrian Hayes again at a 402 for the Buckos. Should be one more autograph coming up. Nice Nick Madrigal at a 150. Bowman Sterling Atomic Refractor. One of the higher round pick, higher first round picks for the White Sox. More paper, some chrome. Again, one more autograph is what we're looking for. There's Sean Hegel. Shell. Purple paper out of 250. It's going to be a tough one. And Grant Avril Levine. Black Refractor, 68 out of 75, going to the Rockies. Jeff Goldberg with that one. And there, and there you have it. It's it's pronounced Jelly? That's Sean Jelly? Have we had this talk? Come on, really? Did I mention I was in Vegas for the last four nights? Cody West. I think I, I think I still have like slot machine sounds ringing in my ears. And the click of me like shuffling chips. All right, there you go. And purple chrome, uh, Raynel Delgado to 250. Jelly. Wasn't that an old Flaming Lips song from the 90s? She don't use jelly. She 
she uses Vaseline. It's a song. Look it up. Indie rock classic. All right. Left, right on that, and the dual auto twins, Yankees. Let's randomize two and a one, three short times. Three strikes and you're out. One, two, three. Three, there you go. Left side with those. So all the left side teams will be getting those recommended viewing cards. Now for the dual auto, two and a one, three times. One, two, good luck, three, after three times, stays with the Yankees. So there you go. Eric Bailey with the dual on-card autograph, Ryan Jeffers and Josh Bro, 42 out of 50 gold. Nice recommended viewing dual autograph. And there you have it, boys and girls. As promised, a quick recap. Obviously, you just saw this, but a quick recap of the rest. If I could shuffle these, there you go. Pretty solid break, some nice color, some nice autos, Anthony's Redemption, Swaggerty, it's a nice class of 2018 autograph, and there you have it boys and girls. Oh, and can't forget the box topper for the Rays, which is really cool too, so congrats to Mike Kuntz on that one as well. Nice. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for chatting with us. And thank, thanks in general. Bye-bye.